I just spoke to Kate, to Kate, and um, hopefully this will work this time this time around. Oh, I see you, Kate. I'm inviting you. Oh wait, she disappeared. <laughs> we are live for hashtag the Pink Life. It's Mercury retrograde, people. <laughs> Technology is not our friend today. Okay, I'm bringing you in, Kate. And she's coming in. We need lighting. Screaming to a tech guy. The lighting's coming in from the window. So I'm just waiting for it to, to go back up. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, I'm excited that we figured that out. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. I was in like Facebook prison. I was I can see you, but you can't see me. <laughs> yes, but I really think it's because um, you're, so you're, your your personal private. book is uber private. So I think that could be the reason uh -huh. why you pop on. Because we weren't friends at all. And then I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's a good thing I, you make apps. It's a good thing that you make apps and that I don't make apps. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what they Make an app for it. You never know. <laughs> um, so I'm just fixing my lighting real quick because I got dark. Yeah. There, oh, yeah, there you are. Um, so I was so excited to have you on. I want all our viewers to come back on because we have a whole <laughs> lot of you before. <laughs> I'm going to share it. I'm going to take one second because I usually do this when we do our live okay. Facebooks. And I'm going to share it on my personal Facebook so everybody could see it. Um, just give me one second. And if you have your laptop open too, you could share it as well on Milk Stork. Yeah, I shared it. Let me see. I shared it earlier. I'll share it again. I'm back. I'll tell them I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tune in and join the condo with Kate. There you are. Okay, toast. All right. I'm just Technology. Gonna... Oh, I don't know if you. I don't know if you um, ever heard of Mercury retrograde, but yes. <laughs> Is Mercury in retrograde right now? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> it's a perfect time to blame it because. Yeah. This this happened to us. I had a live Facebook last night with Real Mommy Confessions, and the same thing happened. We had tons of problems, and then look at us oh, today. No. <laughs> so I'm totally blaming. But the same thing happened. We had tons of problems. Okay, turn off the sound. Okay, so let's get down to business. Yeah, yeah. And all the moms that were on before, they can jump back on um, later on or watch the video when we're done and we'll put it up on Facebook and it'll be on our website. So we'll make sure everybody will be able to view it. Awesome. And this morning I, we boosted your, your video from, for Milk Store so everybody could know what it was all about. I was, okay. I was so excited when I first saw, I was telling the moms before, when I was on um, social media a few months back and I saw Milk Store, I was like, oh, <laughs> Why yeah. did have this before, you know? And this is like the common theme with, with moms or women who start businesses. We, we create things that there's no resource for, and we have to do it for ourselves, pretty much. And then, obviously, it ends up benefiting everybody, you know, that yeah. we serve. But I thought it was so fantastic. Thank and you. The first, which is yes, awesome. We are. Yeah, it, um, I'll tell you how it started. Um, I have three kids and two of them are twins. And with my first child, breastfeeding was really easy. We had this kind of dream breastfeeding, you know, he latched right away, breastfed for 18 months, not a big issue. And then the twins came and they came a little bit early, not a lot early, but a little bit early. And we had tongue ties and latching issues and tandem nursing and um, RSV, you know, they, got, they got really sick. Um, we Aww. had nipple confusion, you know, like we had it. We had it all. And so when I had a four day business trip coming, you know, after we had endured kind of all of these um, breastfeeding issues together, <laughs> I had a four day business trip come up when they were about seven months old. And at the time I was producing a gallon of milk every two days 
Wow. For a four day business trip meant that I was going to have to pump two extra gallons before I left on my trip on top of the gallons that they were already drinking. Wow. And then I was going to have I was going to have to manage two gallons of milk in a hotel mini fridge. Mm -hmm. And um, there was just no, there was no solution other than just, um, I mean, I could have not taken the trip. I could have given the kids formula. Um, I could, or, you know, just kind of lugging, <laughs> suffering through all the pumping and lugging of milk. And that's what I ended up doing. And I came home and I was like, this is, this is just, it doesn't need to be this hard in this day and age <laughs> for a mom to breastfeed and work. <laughs> yeah. And we launched, we yeah, we got to work. So, okay, so I wanna back up a little bit because I want um, all our viewers to know a little bit more about you. So who is Kate Torgerson? <laughs> we know that you have, so people, right? we know that you came up with this fabulous concept, but who is Kate? Um, so I'm a Northern California, born and raised. Uh, I actually grew up in Palo Alto. Oh. Um, and now, live, yeah, now I live in the East Bay. Um, Berkeley grad, go Bears. <laughs> I, when I I uh, I spent much of my career working at um, Cliff Bar, which is the energy bar company. I eat um, those and, all the time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, just a really inspiring place to work. It was founded by somebody who believed in an idea and mm -hmm. went for it. And um, I kind of always took that um, his his passion for an idea and his belief that he, if not him, who. Um, and if not now, when I kind of internalized that. And, um, so yeah, uh, with three kids, you know, you're constantly solving problems. So I have a first grader named Jax, and then I have twins, Finn and Zoe, who are just turned four. Oh, wow. So you have your hands full. Yes. I do. Four, four year old twins is better than 18 month old twins though. I will say that <laughs> <laughs> in some ways. Now they can help each other. They're old enough to help each other. You know, something. I don't know if helping. I would like to think that they're helping, but I don't know how much helping is going on. There's there's a <laughs> lot of um, fighting over Hot Wheels. So. <laughs> oh, God, that's too funny. Oh wow. So you know, I have three kids also, but my kids are oh. older. I have a 15, 13, and my son just turned 10 yesterday, and they fight all the they, the fighting does not stop. <laughs> it does not fighting. <laughs> Oh, it's so hard, especially when Christmas comes around. There's going to be more fighting in my future. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Over toys. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Right now I have Roblox fighting. <laughs> That's okay. my yes. Not even toys, yes. Roblox. Okay, so what is motherhood like for you? I mean, you, you're, you're juggling the kids, and I don't even call it balance. You know, I don't believe in balance. You know, as no. moms to old businesses, it's sort of like we're managing day-to-day -day life, right? So what yeah. is life? life for you as a mom <laughs> and having your own business? Um, you know, in, in a lot of ways, being an entrepreneur and being a mom are kind of similar. Every day is an adventure. I mean, you know, you think you're going to have one kind of day. You're like, it's a Wednesday. Everyone's going to school. Things are going to be great. And then things just get derailed or they go sideways or something happens. You know, someone throws up on the way to school. Uh, <laughs> being an entrepreneur is a little bit the same thing, you know, it's an adventure. And um, I think the two kind of go really hand in hand. Um, I think motherhood prepared me for being an entrepreneur. And I think being an entrepreneur makes me really a better mom. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, the thing I love about motherhood is the unexpected. Everything's unexpected. But at the same time, that's also the really, really hard thing about motherhood. Our house is completely chaotic. Most times, the, you know, someone's running around. It's a good thing that we're filming from the, the waist up because there's just a mess everywhere else <laughs> in the house. Um, and I think, you know, having two working parents makes it even, you know, it's an even kind of bigger adventure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you're, you're, you're whole, you have a home office then. Your whole business is at home. Yeah. How do you manage it? Um, I, I mean, it, it makes a huge difference that my kids are <laughs> gone during the day. Um, but you know, it, it's a, it's, it's a back and forth. So one, one of the great things about working from home and having my own business is that like later today, I can actually go over to my son's and do some volunteer time, which I, I don't, you know, it wouldn't, it would have been a really hard lift to do elsewhere. Um, yeah, but it, it, I mean, you do find that, um, there's certain things that are great about it. And then there's certain things that are really hard about it. It's hard to have, um, you know, I, I do, I work in a pit of Hot Wheels and, um, 
um, but it's also, I get to spend so much more time with my kids. And I think what's also been really wonderful is that they get to see that I started something and that I went for it. And um, they, they all know what Milk Stork is, even the four-year-olds. So that part's kind of exciting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you, they ask you a lot of questions like, you know, mom, are you going to work today? Or, you know, they, they say funny things like you don't go to work, you just stay here. I mean, they're like, you or you don't like go, you don't like go like they think of work as a place. They don't think of it as like an activity. Um, yeah. but, but then they also I think one of the challenges about being an entrepreneur and being a mom is that there is no off switch. And so, you know, Saturdays and Sundays, they do see me work. Um, the, the, there's a big blur between what's um, home time and personal time and what's work time. Um, oh, yeah. And that's something that I'm very conscious of, you know, it's kind of uh, switching between these two identities in front of them, really. Wow. So, okay, we just had a question from a mom who missed it. And you can, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So this is a good segue because we just got a question from our mom, yeah. Mariah. And she said, what is it that you do from home? <laughs> <laughs> so I started a company called Milk Stork. And what we do is we provide moms with everything that they need, the, the postage and the, the coolers and packaging um, to overnight their milk home when they're traveling for work. Mm -hmm. So um, for moms, this means that they're not having to um, pump kind of relentlessly before they leave for a business trip and create this crazy stockpile of milk. And then they're not having to manage um, all the milk that they pumped in a hotel mini fridge while they're away. Um, by being able to overnight the milk home, it kind of um, uh, resolves the issue of offsite production of breast milk. And it allows moms to... Um, uh, more easily, I think, accept business travel assignments and then also maintain their commitment to breastfeed. Wow. So have you, um, since you started Milk Stork, have you created partnerships with workplaces or? Yeah. How, how have so, you done that? It's been amazing. What's, um, what really, what happened basically from the beginning with Milk Stork is that mom started using the service and then they started asking their employers to provide it as a benefit. Um, and to get support from their employers. And almost immediately we had employers coming to us uh, ask, asking to have Milk Stork um, be an employee benefit. So we launched in August of 2015 and I think we had our first um, enterprise client within uh, 15 days of that. So wow. it started almost immediately. And um, we currently have uh, about 78 enterprise clients ranging in size from small firms all the way to global Fortune 500s. And every single one of them has come to us because a mom has asked. So if you're a working mom and you have to travel, um, I just, I highly recommend asking your employer to support you um, with Milk Stork and you'll be surprised. I think um, employers are very eager to um, support working parents because it's a great benefit to them to, to um, have an employee stay longer and stay through kind of these defining moments of their lives. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you, you think about women. So the average in the United States is women breastfeed for about six months. And if they go right. to work, they have to stop breastfeeding. So the kids, the, the children don't get the breast milk that they need. So this extends the life of you, you being a nursing mom and being able to supply the breast milk. So it's like a win-win all the way around. It is a, yeah, I think it is a win-win. And, you know, there's more there's more working moms than ever before. There's yeah. more, even though breastfeeding rates are still not, you know, probably where we want them, um, there's more breastfeeding working moms than ever before. And so when you have women and you have breastfeeding women in your office, um, this, is, this is the reality of being a woman. Um, this is one of the experiences of being a woman and creating a diver diverse workplace means providing support to the realities that other, you know, the people experience and breastfeeding being one of those. So I think, um, you know, I think we find, I'm hoping that we're getting to a point where women don't have to apologize for breastfeeding and they don't have to feel professionally compromised um, because of it. You know, it, it's something that should, women should be able to thrive in their workplace and being able to breastfeed is part of, a key part of that. Yeah, so as thrive, you know, all these resources, um, yours absolutely helping women th thrive, but all these resources that moms are they're creating themselves are helping moms to thrive and to normalize breastfeeding but it's a shame that we still have to convince our employers that we are still an asset 
a good asset for their company, even though we're moms <laughs> and we have to nurse. Yeah. It's a shame. I do think something has changed though, because I, for me, I, we've had so many companies contact us and I have just been amazed by their eagerness to support working moms. Wow. And I think, it, and, and that gives me a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. um, I think what, you know, one, there's two things happening. We have millennial parents and I think millennials, um, have very high expectations for the workplace as they should. Mm -hmm. And they also have, and they're the most informed generation of parents that we've ever had. <laughs> they have the world at their fingertips um, and information at their fingertips. So they kind of know who they want to be as parents and they know who they want to be as an employee. And then I think, you know, companies are really eager to court and retain um, millennial, the millennial workforce. And um, so in my experience, I've, I've seen companies really eager to uh, support working parents. It's a, it's a great way for them to compete also. Um, most, most people are going to be working parents <laughs> and um, providing benefits that support them is going to generate employee loyalty. Wow. I love that. So have you, have you, um, have you received any pushback? I always like to ask this question. No. I think it's important yeah. for people to know it's not easy when you launch these new ideas, there's always pushback. <laughs> we got it. Um, yeah. I've yeah. moms. Have you, did you receive any pushback? I didn't receive pushback from employers and I didn't receive pushback from moms. I think when we were creating the business and we were kind of dealing with the logistics and like the, um, uh, you know, uh, developing an e-commerce platform and um, finding the right cooler, we got, you know, I got a lot of sideways looks like breast, why would you want, why are you, why would you want to ship breast milk? Um, <laughs> even, uh, you know, just kind of like all the business partners that you need to have just to, in order to create a business. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the time that I felt like I had to do the most advocacy around like fighting for my idea and like, this is actually a thing. You probably know, you know, like, <laughs> Um, especially if I was talking to maybe like a, you know, 27 year old guy, like you may not see this yet, <laughs> but this is actually an issue for a large part of the population. Um, so that's when the convincing really, that's the, when the majority of the convincing had to happen. Yeah. Now with talking to employers, there's not a lot of convincing. I think the other kind of amazing, you know, I'm mostly talk with companies. I'm mostly talking to their HR people and HR has a large, um, just as a profession has a lot of women in it. And I think a lot of them have experienced this themselves. So they understand the, the proposition. So do you feel like the, the impact has been um, large enough to start a new, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, do you, okay, let, let's, let's reverse that. Do you think that you've made a big impact in creating Milk Stork? Yeah, I, I do. I think the, the solution is simple, but the impact is significant. And I think the reason that the, uh, while the pop, you know, while the number of women who are probably using milk stork, it's never going to be all women. Yeah. But um, the fact that we've kind of been able to resolve a significant pain point where your work life and your personal life come into conflict, like a business trip. Yeah. Um, I think we, we are one of the things that's allowing uh, a normalization of breastfeeding in the workplace and a normalization of motherhood in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, I think we're a part of the, we're one piece of the puzzle in solving that. Um, so I do think there's a little bit of a movement afoot. Um, I, yeah, I agree with that. And I think uh, this normalizing, normalizing breastfeeding and normalizing motherhood. And I think, I think we're part of that. Um, and as many hurdles as we can re lower or reduce so that moms are, and parents are able to parent in a way that they feel good about, then um, you know, I think we're part of that. Wow. So the Milk Stork, how can moms find Milk Stork if they want to use it? Yeah, so um, go oh, to, let's oh. back up a little bit. I've got yeah. to ask this question before we ask the content. Yeah. What's the process? for using milk. Oh, so you would go to our website, www.milkstork.com and you place an order. We have four um, products. We have um, a couple of products where you can tote your milk back. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple of products where you can do the overnight shipping. Um, and we have a day supply of a uh, cooler that holds a day supply of breast milk. And then we have a cooler that holds uh, about two and a half days worth of milk. Um, so you just order what you need. You let us know where you're traveling to your hotel. Um, and when you're checking in and then where you want, if you're going to have the overnight milk sent home, where you want it sent 
and then we will ship your order to your hotel and the coolers come, uh, they're a FedEx with a FedEx overnight shipping label. You just press a button on the cooler, put your milk in, we provide you breast milk storage bags, and then you just um, drop it at the front desk or at a FedEx facility and it overnights home. Wow. And what is the cost for overnighting it or shipping it? Um, it's, well, there's a, there's a variety of costs. Uh, so each, the, each four of the four options has a price, but I would say on, on average, it's about 139 per night uh, or travel day. Um, the other thing I would say is if you are using milk stork um, and you are doing it for work, you should not be paying for it. <laughs> Your company should be paying for it. Um, and so we can provide, the, if you go to milkstork.com slash reimbursement, there's actually a letter that you can download um, and it kind of makes the conversation a little bit easier with your manager or your employer and it can kind of tell them what the, the business case for supporting you on this um, with milk stork is and then on the personal level how it will support you so it just kind of makes the conversation a little bit easier to ask to be reimbursed wow so okay so you in addition to providing the service you're also providing moms with a platform to advocate for themselves which i love <laughs> and yeah i think that's fantastic did you did you start did you provide that right away or was that after initial feedback from moms um, no, moms never asked us for it, but we knew that moms were asking their companies to support them. And so we also know, I just personally know that that conversation, bringing breastfeeding into the workplace is something that's very personal and, uh, having a very, uh, having a conversation about breastfeeding with your boss is a weird, you know, just kind of, for some people that's going to be an uncomfortable situation. So I wanted to make that an easier, um, <clears throat> I wanted to make the advocacy on an individual basis a little bit easier great so how can moms get in touch with you do they go to milkstork.com um, yeah you can find us on milkstork.com uh twitter instagram we're we're there um yeah and uh info at milkstork.com as um we have a great customer care team if you have questions about milkstork they're happy to answer them that's awesome well i want to thank you so much for being on our live Facebook um, this week and being my guests. Um, we don't do guests very often. And when we do, it's because it's something we strongly believe in and uh, we feel that really needs a platform for a voice. And obviously you're doing a fantastic job because your social media is just blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm just gushing about you right now. So just accept it. And <laughs> I just love, love the concept of Milk Stork and um, this, the convenience that you're providing for moms and the relief that you're providing for moms when they're out working, you know, and they don't know what to do with their breast milk and they're trying to get it to their kid. And you're, you're doing that service and you're also helping the babies because you're extending the life of their, their breast uh, nurse, you know, and you're allowing them to get that breast milk for as long as the mom can use your service and as long as the mom can pump. So kudos. Well, well, thank you to you too, because, you know, most of these moms, they're pumping in, in very unfortunate situations <laughs> and, um, you know, getting the milk home is just the last link in the chain, um, making it better for moms to pump on the go wherever they are is absolutely critical and, um, giving them the resources so that they can do that and, and do it in a way that's, um, comfortable for them, I think is amazing. So, and thank you for putting up with my technology Please. issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl, I am so laid back. I know technology is in the butt, but I'm laid back. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one of those people where I'm like, oh my God, she didn't make it. Um, but I would love to continue to support you. Um, you know, I'll continue to share as much as I can on the Moms Up Here platforms. And we'll have this video up again so moms can see it. And um, if you ever want to like pop on as a guest before, just reach out if you have any new, new, new projects or things coming up. Um, just from mom to mom, you know, I would love to support you. So make sure. Awesome. You Thank you. We'll have a wonderful holiday. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful to have been on this and to, to talk to, to your folks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So any moms listening, make sure you check out Milk Stork on milkstork.com. Um, you can like and follow them on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Are you on YouTube? You have YouTube? No, uh, just our video, yeah. Okay, yeah. and their yeah. video is also on our Facebook page, and um, definitely use their service if you are out and working. Check them out. Talk to your employer. 
advocate for yourself. It's very important. Um, and of course, you know, download and use the Moms Pump Care Nursery Locator app to find a place to breastfeed and breast pump. Use our website. We have lots of great blogs coming in from our bloggers. And thank you so much for joining us this week for Hashtag The Pink Life. Bye.